what's up guys Alex here back with another Sony Vegas Pro tutorial and today I'm going to show you guys how to create the screen fracture effect in Vegas Pro now you do need the uh, either Pro 8, 9 or 10 or 11 to do this effect if you have uh, anything like Sony Vegas Movie Studio Platinum then you can't uh, do this effect because we're going to be using the masking tool which isn't uh, included in those versions. Now let's get started. You want to have your clip on the timeline and we're going to get the original video clip and duplicate it. So we're going to go ahead and create a new video track and copy and paste the original video clip on the top video track. And we're going to browse through our video to find the parts where you want to apply the effect to and the effect itself is only about 10 to 15 frames long so it's a really short effect and once you find the starting point for your effect you want to go ahead and press M on your keyboard and that's going to set a marker on the timeline and again you can just adjust the markers by clicking and dragging on it and once you set the first marker down we're gonna go ahead and uh, go forward on the video about 10 to 15 frames and once you've done that you want to press M again and that will set a different marker on the timeline now this is going to be a region where we're gonna apply the effect to so first off we're gonna mask out different uh, parts of the screen so you want to go ahead and go into your event pan crop option and you want to select enable mask and just to be sure you want to make sure sync cursor is selected so that anytime you move your cursor it's going to move on the timeline as well so when you select the first marker so bring the cursor over to the first marker and on this one we're going to create a keyframe now we're going to go ahead and go on to the next frame and with the anchor creation tool selected we're going to be creating simple and basic geometric shapes so like in the video example I created a triangle and a rectangle uh, basically you do those kind of shapes for this effect so you click on the outside go across the video and make a triangle and connect the mask really simple and you want to bring your cursor towards the end of the second marker and create a new keyframe and that will save uh, the values of the mask and you want to go ahead and go forward one or two frames right click on the mask and delete all now if you browse your frames as you see here nothing's gonna happen uh, that's because we haven't scaled out the video yet so again we're gonna while in our crop uh, window we're going to go ahead and click on the top track so there's two timelines on the bottom here's the masking timeline and on the top those are the uh, cropping timeline so go ahead and click on the top timeline and again this will bring us back to our crop option so at the beginning of the marker you want to set a keyframe with the original scale go forward about three or two frames and we're going to scale this in and once you scale it in you're going to begin to see the results uh, let me set this to half and you can see the fracture of the screen so this is the uh, mask section we made and here's the original video clip now we're going to scrub through our timeline our cropping timeline and towards the end of the effect we're going to uh, 
create a keyframe go forward after the last keyframe on the masking timeline we're gonna right click inside our box and hit restore so here's what the result so far should look like and see nothing special nothing too fancy uh, again you can randomize the scale so between these two points uh, you can scale it in scale it down to create sort of a random movement and we're not done yet we're going to add the sort of an RGB kind of split uh, so again you want to go into your project video properties and set the stereoscopic 3D mode to any one of these three anaglyphic presets I'm just going to select the first one apply it and once you apply it the colors from your screen are uh, going to be kind of black and white almost uh, we're going to fix that later on in the video but for now you want to go into your video effects and click on the stereoscopic 3D adjust plugin and we're going to apply the default to the uh, top video track now we're going to animate the horizontal offset only so select the animating stopwatch to keyframe it and again make sure scene cursor is selected create a keyframe go forward and you want to increase the horizontal offset or decrease it and if you see you have sort of an RGB split not really but something like it and you want to go forward and randomize the movements and you want to do that until you meet the position of the second marker add a keyframe and then set the horizontal offset value to zero So let's preview it. And that's one fracture. Now if you want to add multiple fractures, uh, what you can do is get the original video clip, create another video track, and put it on top of the other two, and duplicate the original video track. Not the one we just altered, but the original one. And we're gonna apply the same concept uh, we applied to on the previous video track. So again, enable mask. Uh, but this time, we're going to change the shape and the position. Add a keyframe, go forward, delete the mask. And go into our crop option, add a keyframe, go forward and scale it in. And you can randomize the cropping of the video and then set it back to its original size. And apply the stereoscopic 3D adjust and animate it. And in this case, you're going to have multiple fractures on the screen. Now, if you want more than two fractures, of course, you can do the same concept and create however many video tracks you want. So, the final result should look something like this. And that's how you do it now to fix the color uh, problem within Vegas so once you enable the stereoscopic 3d mode uh, your video all the colors from your video are sort of going to be washed out but not entirely but to fix that you can go into your video effects 
and go to the saturation adjust and apply it to all of the video tracks. So to do this you want to increase the amount about 0.5 and put the center all the way down and the spread all the way up. And that will uh, restore the colors, the original colors of your video. And again, you want to apply it to all of the video tracks. So that's the end of this Vegas Pro tutorial. I hope you guys liked it. If it helped you, uh, please comment on this video and give it a thumbs up. If you want, you can share it with your friend and spread the video around. Uh, again, if you want more Sony Vegas tutorials, you can go check out Techie Tutorials. Uh, he's another YouTube user, and it, he has a lot of tutorials on Vegas covering the basic uh, usage of the interface of Sony Vegas. So if you want to check him out, I'll put a link to his channel in the description. And again, if you have any problems with this tutorial, just ask me in the comments and I'll reply to them. So I'll see you guys next time.